Batteries. The Wave uses a main rechargeable battery and an internal rechargeable backup battery. The main battery, fully charged, operates all the features on the Wave for approximately 8 to 10 hours and takes approximately 4 to 5 hours to charge the main battery. The internal battery supplies backup power if the charge on the main battery becomes too low. When powered by the backup battery, the tilting screen turns off while steno and timestamps continue to be stored in memory. The backup battery operates for approximately 8 hours and charges simultaneously with the main battery. When the main battery has a low charge, the battery gauge in the title bar turns yellow, then red, and a warning message displays on the screen. To charge the battery, plug in the AC adapter charger. A row of running blocks on the status LCD indicates that the battery is charging. When the batteries are fully charged, the black blocks move from each side of the screen in a clapping motion. If the writer is left plugged in for a long time, the clapping motion stops. You can view the voltage levels of your batteries. First, unplug the wave and turn the writer on. From the opening menu, press Dieg, then Battery. The battery status screen displays. The indicator bar provides an approximate indication of the battery voltage level. Green indicates fully charged, yellow is charged, and red indicates the charge is low. A voltage of 7.4 or higher for the main battery indicates normal operating voltage. A voltage of 7.0 or below indicates the battery is low and has approximately one hour of operating time remaining. The normal operating voltage for the backup battery is 3.9 or above. A voltage of 3.8 or below indicates the battery needs to be charged. The Wave employs advanced battery technology that prevents the batteries from overcharging, so you don't have to worry about leaving the writer plugged in overnight or over a weekend. For additional information on the Wave's batteries, please see the Wave User Guide, available on this CD.